am an intern here at Owen TV, and today for my cooking segment, I'm going to be making cinnamon bites. So this is a recipe that my grandmother has made for many years. Um, it's something that my whole family loves to enjoy, especially around the holidays or any time for that matter. Um, one time I actually had this instead of birthday cake for my own birthday. So let's get started with our ingredients. So first things first is we need a cup of sugar of white sugar. We need some chopped walnuts. Now these are optional, but this is just something that we like to use. We need a tablespoon of cinnamon. And then we need three tubes of buttermilk biscuits. These are the non-flaky biscuits. Uh, these are just Kroger brand ones. And then we need a cup of brown sugar and a stick of butter and then our other little non-ingredients but things that you will need is a bundt pan and i already greased this this is with crisco so you can see that so first things first is we are going to be uh cutting our little biscuits get these out now you only want three of these, even though these types of biscuits usually come in a pack of four, but you only want three because you only want to fill about half of the pan so it doesn't overflow because when you're baking, the biscuits are going to rise and you don't necessarily want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into four little pieces, just like this. This may take a little bit of time, but that's okay. So you want these little pieces like this. Cut these. And as you're doing this, I always suggest maybe listening to music or something like that because it's very time consuming. <laughs> Or have someone help you. That's always nice. I actually made these over my own Christmas break. I was up north with my grandmother and we were going on a family ski trip and so I actually helped her make two batches of these. And so this is why I wanted to make this for my cooking segment. especially because I love desserts, sweets. Doesn't matter what it is, I love it. All right, so we've got one tube cut up already. So what I'm going to do first before I do anything else is I'm gonna take our walnuts and I'm gonna sprinkle them at the bottom of our pan. So these are crushed walnuts. Um, if you have the little tool to you know, mash them up, uh, I would go ahead and do that. But since I didn't have that here with me today, I had to crush these with my hands which is always okay. So we're just gonna spread it around, all the way around. And these are optional. You don't necessarily have to use walnuts. This is just what my grandmother does. And then my mom does this as well. So 
we fill that up like so before I start cutting any more of our biscuits we are going to make our um, cinnamon sugar mixture so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this uh, cup of white sugar into our bag And then we are going to take our cinnamon and we're going to do a tablespoon of cinnamon. Uh, you can also do more. Some people prefer less. Some people prefer more. We like cinnamon in our house, so I might put in a little bit extra. I have to take the top off. Smells delicious. And then we're going to sift it a little bit, add a little bit more. Okay, before I make a mess. So, this is our tablespoon of cinnamon. We're going to dump it in here. Put the top back on this. I already made a little bit of a mess on the counter, but that's okay. So then we're going to Ziploc our bag. And we're going to shake it around a little bit. Now, if you have kids, this is also really fun too. This could be a fun activity to get them involved in. I want to make sure this is mixed in really good. Now I might need to add a little bit more of sugar or cinnamon just because we have so many biscuits. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to take our little cut up biscuits that we did and we're going to put them in our bag of cinnamon sugar. So I'll just do about that much. We're gonna zip it up again, and then we're gonna shake it around to get them nice and coated in our cinnamon sugar mixture that we made. So I'm gonna take these tongs, and then I'm going to take them out. And then we're going to set them in our pan on top of the walnuts, the crushed walnuts that we made. So we can get these together. Spread them out a little bit. Now this does tend to get a little bit messy. As you can see, I've already dropped some and there's some sugar on our table. Okay. So there is our first little batch that we did. So next we are going to 
after I do the rest of these, we're going to cut up the rest. Now, before I did this, I preheated the oven to 350. So that is going right now. All right, zip up our bag, shake it again. Like I said, this is a fun recipe to do with kids because they can get in and help and have a little bit of fun shaking the bag. All right, one last time. this up. I think that's our last one. So like I said before, we only used uh, three tubes just because um, we don't want this to overflow. Now, if I put another one in here, it might be okay, but I just wanna make sure that it doesn't overflow because these will rise in the oven. So we will set this aside. Our next task is to melt a brown sugar, I like to call it a glaze. So what we will do is we have our butter. We're gonna use about three fourths of the butter. So not all of it, but a good amount. Let's see, where are we? So I'll do about three quarters. Take the rest of this and we're going to put it in our measuring cup. And I'm gonna cut up the little pieces because we are going to be melting the butter to make our glaze. All right, so I'm gonna take our tongs again butter in the cup. All right. We're going to put this in the microwave. do it for about 40 seconds, 30 seconds. We might need to stop it a few times just to check to make sure that the butter is melting all the way. So I'm going to stop it now and I'm going to check. Perfect. So this is our butter, and I'm just gonna kind of stir it around. Now I'm gonna do just a tad bit more, maybe like one slice or so. Melt it again. about 10 seconds or so. All 
All right, so our butter is all melted. Just going to stir that a little bit. All right, looks good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our brown sugar and we are going to put most of it in there. I don't know if we need all of it, but this is a cup of brown sugar. So I'm just going to take this, plop it in there. I would maybe do about half or so, and then maybe stir it around. A little bit of our butter didn't melt all the way, but that's okay. You can kind of work it and mash it. Stir it, make sure our Sugar is all the way dissolved. Make sure we don't have any lumps. Take a little bit more. Stir it up, that smells really good. Like I said, it's sort of like a brown sugar glaze. Stir it up really nice. Now you might not want to use all of your brown sugar, but I'm just gonna use a little bit more. Stir it up really nice, make sure there's no lumps. All right, that looks really good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our brown sugar glaze and we're going to pour it on top of our biscuits and we're gonna go around pretty evenly like so And then you can always use, if you have maybe extra crushed up walnuts, or these are optional, like I said earlier, so you don't necessarily have to use these. So I'm just going to take the rest and kind of sprinkle it on top, just because we have a little bit of extra. So now we will put these in the oven again at 350 and we're going to put them in for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right. And we're going to let those cook. So we will be right back. ON TV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and non-linear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ON TV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. All right, welcome back. Um, we just took our cinnamon bites out of the oven and now we are going to uh, flip it outside of the bunt pan. 
Um, so I did take it out and I waited just a few minutes just because you don't want it to fall apart as you're flipping it. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so we're taking our pan, and then we're just gonna go like this. And it comes out like so. Oh, a little bit got taken off the top there, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is our cinnamon bites. Uh, it looks like some of it on the side got taken off, but that's okay. I'm just going to take this little knife and stick them back on the top. It is really hot. All right, there we go. So this is our cinnamon bites. Thank you for watching. <laughs>